Hello and welcome. So we've reached a point in these tutorials where it's time to consolidate some of the knowledge that we've learned. And it's good to basically uh, go over basic concepts like variables, user inputs, if statements, loops, while loops in a way where we have uh, visual outputs as in drawings this time around. So we're going to do that together with a turtle library and we're going to use the REPL.IT interface to make that happen. Now in this very tutorial, we're going to use turtle to sketch a square. Um, well, we're going to introduce the turtle library first, then we'll use turtle to sketch a square. Then we are going to use the uh, user inputs in combination with that and recap those. So first off, turtle. Now this is turtle reference. You can just Google turtle reference. You're going to get a list of functions. Technically it's object oriented uh, is the style that it's written in. So they're called also methods. Method is really a function within the class. Um, and the turtle can do great many things. Now we are basically going to use about 2% of these, but if you want to make cool visual programs, I really suggest you check out turtle reference. So we're going to start off by drawing a little polygon and we're going to import turtle. Now here's some lines turtle dot forward hundred and turtle dot left. 90. So I bet you've already anticipated what turtle.left does that turns left by 90 degrees and this is actually 100 pixels. So this is just going to draw us a line and then a turn. So a four, a copy of four of these is going to um, essentially create a polygon for us or a square. Here we go, run, and we're gonna have a square. So, as I said, I'm also gonna use this to recap user input. So, we can specify the size of that square. So if I create a variable length, and we're gonna set length equals to int input, Please enter side length. Now I can do this within a loop, but we're actually going to do loops um, in the next tutorial in a more advanced way. So I'm just going to put that in there and run it. Now, as you can see, there's nothing going on because we're in that console. Please enter side length. This time I want a bigger one. I want side length 200. When I press enter, you will see the result being drawn. That's excellent. And the other thing that I wanted to do is please enter angle. Now, given that we're always going to have four sides, um, this, this is just going to allow us to draw, I guess, wonky squares, but nonetheless, angle, angle. So now I can copy that there. And I'm just going to try maybe two different ones, one slightly larger side length 160 angle 88. So I guess this is gonna be an incomplete square with a little bit of an opening. And there you have it. I mean, if I if I decided to go for an angle of like 120, that would make a triangle and we would maybe retrace one of the sides. Yeah. So that's the basic introduction to turtle. In the next tutorial, we are going to introduce loops and if statements and make this a bit more interesting. Well, that was fun. To make sure you don't miss out on all the fun, just subscribe right here to continue along with the playlist. Python Fundamentals, click there. And to see a whole host of other Python videos, about there. That's all for now. See you later.